What's up everyone? Today we're gonna to be going over leak code 303, um, some range query. And this is pretty much a kind of a design problem, but they'll give you a z integer, or no, index is i and j between this array, and they wanna know what the sum is between that and that. Of course, it's super simple if you do kind of like a brute force, but we're gonna do it with a little bit of dynamic programming. And I noticed that there's a lot of thumbs down. I'm not sure why. This is a pretty, um, it seems like a useful problem because in an interview, if someone asks something simple like this, you give a simple solution, but they can say, how do we make this scalable? Or how do we make sure if this is happening repeatedly? You know, little tweaks like that helps us solve problems like this. So let's get into it. I am going to <clears throat> use a DP array of the same size. And I'll show you how I do that one. So int DP. Uh, oh, no, 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 int dp, um, dp is, um, well, first, if ar dot length is zero, we can return, yes, you can actually return on a constructor, mm. otherwise, dp is set to new, int ar dot length and then dp is going to be pretty much the first one is going to be the same thing as ar and then we're going to iterate over it for int i is equal to one i is less than ar dot length i plus plus dp of i is going to be dp of i minus 1 plus a r of i. And that's the constructor. Now what we're going to do is this. Let's, let me actually write out what the dp array for this one is going to look like. So dp would be negative 2, 0, 1, negative 4, 2, uh, negative 4, 2, negative 4, 2, and 3. What they want is the <clears throat> sum between, say, for example, 0 and 2. They want this, or they want z 0, 1, 2, this, or they want th uh, this, the sum of that. These are the outputs. Now, the answer is pretty straightforward. Pretty much what you want to do is dp of i, dp of j, the outer bound, minus the dp of i. But since we want to include the number at i, what we need to do is dp of i minus 1, not dp of i. So there's going to be one edge case where the i that they give is 0. In that case, all we do is return dp of j. So dp of uh, 0, to t 0 to 2 is going to be dp of j, which is that, and this is that one. So if i is 0, we return dp of j. Otherwise, we just return dp of j minus dp of i minus 1. The reason we do this upper ifs check is we want to make sure that we're not going out of bounds when we do i minus 1. And that's how we solve leak code 303. It's a simple problem, but there are so many downloads. I just wanted to show you guys that it's not hard or a problem to feel annoyed about at all. So anyway, if you like this video, please subscribe, please share, and please like it. It'll motivate me to keep making some more. Thank you.